Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the review of Middlesbrough vs Birmingham, Birmingham vs Middlesbrough. Now, first of all, you might be wondering, why is this video coming out, uh, well, literally 10 past 1, half past 1 time to it. Obviously, it's five, well, it's 5 past 1 now that I'm recording it. So, by, by the time that it goes up onto my YouTube channel, maybe about half past 1. So, yeah, obviously, obviously, a lot of you guys might be thinking, why is it going up now? Well, this is why it's going up now. My plan was to come home last night after the game and do my review Get up with you guys. So, so, so obviously, so obviously, when you wake up, you should, say, say if you want to go to school or college or work, and say if you guys watch me before you go there, which is absolutely amazing. If you do go, if you obviously, obviously, if you do watch my videos before you go to any of them things, that is absolutely incredible. But the fact of the matter is, is like I literally didn't get home till about four o'clock in the morning. Um, it was about quarter to four by the time we got back. Um, to obviously where I live. Um, so yeah, and I literally started work at six o'clock in the morning this morning. And I said, if I get back up, to, for, so say, say for instance, I got home. So yeah, so okay, let me start again. I basically got into bed at four o'clock in the morning, and then I had to get up for work at twenty past five in the morning to start work at six o'clock, which I've just come home from work. So I thought to myself, you know, you know, obviously, obviously I was knackered. I'll be honest with you. Obviously, obviously I slept in the van all the way home. But that was only three hours, and then by the time I got into bed, and I obviously, obviously had some had some sleep. That would have been about, all in total about four and a half hours, four hours twenty minutes, something along them lines. And I thought if I do my video, obviously if I did my review, I'd be shattered. And I won't be able to get out all my emotions to how I'm feeling at that time because I was so tired. So I thought, well, if I go to work, and obviously, obviously once I wake myself up, and then I do it now like I am now. I'd be able to be more about be able to be be able to um maybe think better maybe maybe think a bit faster than what I would do if I was tired you know so that's why I'm doing it now I hope you guys understand why I'm doing it now and um, I hope you guys are okay with it listen this is the first time I've only ever done a review now instead of when I go back from the game but well, you guys to understand I was absolutely like drained and knackered um and I had to go to sleep because I had work if, say, say if I was off today I would have done it yes obviously I would have done it last night but I, obviously you know what I mean obviously. You know what I mean? Obviously, I had to go to work. So there was nothing I could do. I had to go to bed. But that's enough of that. Obviously, brought up there Birmingham last night. But a 1-1-0. Back-to-back wins. That's what I asked for inside my preview. I said, can Borough get back-to-back wins? We got back-to-back wins. And now we sit sixth, back in the playoff spot, where we want to be. Um, you know, hopefully, Borough can get the top two. I mean, that, 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 that would be an absolute, like, mind-blowing thing if we did get the top two. Because so many people wrote it off. It is still mathematically possible. But listen, to finish inside the top six, being between third and sixth, I'll be happy with that, to be honest with you. But I, I, it's, like, it's, it's almost like I've said before, if Borough, if Borough stay in the playoffs, and obviously, you know, for me, Borough have to win the playoffs. Otherwise, it's pointless. You know, all this all this push and all this drive to try and get the playoffs, if we don't do anything in it, if we, if we say if we get to Villa or a Derby, if they're still in it, or say for instance Fulham, and they beat us, and it's pointless, you know what I mean? It's pointless, so we have to win it. And that's, that's, that is that's the only way I see we have to win the playoffs. So, but it's a sixth where we need to be. Uh, and last night's performance, I'm going to be honest with you, it was more of a defensive masterclass, if you like it. Because it, going forward, we didn't really bring a lot. If I'm honest with you, I know Patrick Bamford's got his goal. Obviously, obviously I came from a corner. Triola put the ball in. Um, obviously, the front, obviously, the front man on the post had the back to him. He took a touch, brought it, on, brought it inside on his right foot. Bent it in the box, a bit of a scramble on the box. Bamford turned around and bang on the six yard box, put straight, put straight the top bin. He ran up to us doing this, and it was, like I say, and like I say, obviously, I went absolutely ballistic. My scarf was in the air, that was getting twisted around my head, and uh, yeah, it was absolutely amazing, if I'm quite honest with you. So, yeah, I was absolutely buzzing, and uh, you know what? Let me show you the ticket. Obviously, the ticket, I'll get the ticket. Hold on, let me get the So, I now have the ticket from last night. So, when you associate Birmingham City, you would think that the tickets would be blue. No, Boone City don't do it that way. They, in fact, give me a green ticket. This is the ticket I had last night, as you can see. Birmingham City, adult, and then it had a block and everything else that I was sitting in with a little stadium on the back. And I believe we were sat somewhere... Flipping heck, man. I don't, it doesn't even have, like, an away bit on it. Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so we were here. Uh, there. But, yeah, that was the ticket we used last night to get into the stadium. And uh, like I say, I, sat, I was sat sort of... To the right hand side, so if you look at the goal, if you look at it now, I'm to the left of it, but wherever I was, I was to the right of the goal, just quite far back. Um, but yeah, basically, I will be going and joining the wall, and it'll be going somewhere like here. <laughs> yeah, but after the game, Patrick Bamford got another goal. There's seven goals out in four games, and it's a fantastic form that he's hitting. Obviously, now we've got Barnsley Saturday, so I'm hoping that he can obviously get some more goals against Barnsley. Barnsley, I went by on the tail because they're obviously not putting, their, obviously not putting their running performances together. And they're also not scoring goals. 
for us, we are scoring goals and we are looking better in every single game. Now, as I've already said, obviously last night for me, defensive masterclass. Ben Gibson was fantastic. Daniel Ayala, fantastic. George Friend brought so much to the wing when he went forward. You know what I mean? He almost looked like... He, he, for me, George, George Friend was making the runs on the wing. And he, um, he, obviously, him and, him, and Downing, him and Downing, then him and Triora, and Downing, obviously, when Triora switched over. Them lot, but they were making chances. And they, they them, 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 them individuals were making things happen on the wings. I thought Besic played another fantastic game. Um, and just like... Obviously, obviously, before we got him, my friend Joe... Uh, big shout out to Joe Stewart, by the way. Joe told me about him. He told me how good he was. And I didn't know at first. I was thinking, I don't know about Bessage, but I tell you now, man, Joe, Joe was right. Man, Joe, Joe was right in what he said. This guy, this guy is unbelievable. We have to sign him in the summer. We have to get Bessage. He's a fantastic talent. And like I say, even, even last night, even last night, I gave him my man of the match. I thought he was fantastic. Even though Banff got the goal, Bessage was just winning everything in the midfield, sweeping everything up. I thought Clayton as well. I mean, Clayton's a player I've slagged off. In recent weeks, he he proved me wrong last night, but that's what I'm loving at the minute. That these players are proving me wrong. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, obviously, obviously I don't want to keep saying that they're bad players and whatnot, but you know, last couple of weeks, you know what I mean? See if I say these players play badly, these players are proving me wrong by going out and performing better the next week, and that's exactly what we want to see better performances every single week, and that's exactly what we're getting now. Patrick Bamford, seven goals in four games. I don't think anybody's seen that sort of form come in. Nobody can tell me that. Nobody can tell me that they saw Patrick Bamford here in that sort of form. But I'm buzzing for the kid. I really am. I'm really, really happy for him. And like I say, obviously, the only thing that I'm worried about is last night Triori got taken out from behind, and just before he got taken out from behind, he went down touching both his legs, and he sort of fell to the floor. I don't know if it's an injury. If it's an injury, I'm hoping it's not too severe because I really want that guy to not be injured. This is a vital part of the season now. Back end of the season, we're about really, but really, whether this is about results matter. I'm, I'm, I'm literally begging, I'm begging his legs to not be, to, to not be injured because we need that guy. So hopefully, if it is an injury, hopefully he can come back as soon as possible. And if it isn't an injury, fantastic. Let's see him in the team against Barnsley. But as for the match, like I say, you know, Birmingham had chances. Jota caused his problems. Jota, who obviously Butter wanted at the start of the season, he was running as ragged in the midfield. He was, he, 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 was, he was doing bits for them. Um, and like I say, um, I, the, Birmingham also had a one on the, obviously on the left wing. I can't remember his name. Um, but he's a fantastic player. It was just like a whippet. He was just getting through. Um, I, I, honestly, if Birmingham had better strikers, I know the player Lukas Jukovic, obviously ex Butter boy, and he's actually one of my favourite Butter strikers at the time. If he could, if he could actually shoot, and that's not just about him, but if he could have shot, I, 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 I should say if he could actually shoot last night, if he had his shooting boots on, they, Birmingham pro probably could have won the game. But listen, I'm a Butter fan. I'm buzzing with the three points, and I'm buzzing that we took our chances, and that you know when Butter, Butter defended very very well second half, Birmingham struggled to get through. And overall, it was a fantastic game. Um, in, in terms of in terms of the three points, that's why I make it a fantastic game because 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 Butter got the three points, and that's the most important thing. I said, no, no, obviously, obviously, I've said it myself on Butter fan TV interview as well. If Butter can go about throughout the season now, George should I say back end of the season now, getting one 0 wins and still getting into that top six or even into that top two, I'll take it. I don't care how they come. I don't care if them games are scrappy as anything. I don't care if them games are the most boring football we have to watch until now to the end of the season. If that's the football that's going to get us up, 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 obviously up that table and get us that promotion, I will take it. You know, I want promotion more than anyone. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure many other Butter fans do as well. And if, you know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? Me, well, obviously, me personally, from my opinion, I would do anything, anything, anything to get that promotion back because being in the Premier League is where Boss Butter deserved to be, in my opinion. I'm not just saying it. Many other fans have said it. Borough deserve to be up there. Borough deserve to be in the Premier League. I mean, Borough are not a Championship team. It's simple as that. Borough are not a Championship team. Um, you know what I mean? I, I know what I mean. As a Borough fan, I want to experience. I want to experience them. Um, obviously, obviously them. Um, I'm obviously, obviously them. Sorry, I can't speak. Them, you have a cup days. I want to experience them days again. I really do want to experience them days again. And I believe Borough can get to them heights again. I really, really do. So I say, a positive game last night was obviously coming out of the three points and um, obviously going to Barnsley now. Can we make a free back-to-back -back wins? I don't see why we can't. Barnsley are a poor side, no disrespect. They are winning games. And for me, I think I think I think three points is definitely there for Middlesbrough, especially at home, back at the fortress, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully another decent crowd in. So, guys, this has been the review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow for a preview of Borough v Barnsley. Up the borough.